It is the largest Western Hemisphere rainforest outside the Amazon. Panama is a paradise. Unless your job is to cut through it. There were surveyors sent out by the King of Spain to find a canal route across what is now Panama. The first surveyors concluded there was no way to build such a canal. What once seemed impossible is today a wonder of the world. In August of 1914, the SS Anton made the first official passage through the canal. More than a million ships have passed through since. How did the engineers of more than a hundred years ago devise a way to sail huge ships through the wilds of Panama? It's one of the most famous places on Earth. But few of us understand how the Panama Canal works. Ahead, lock gates eight stories high, the largest ever made at the time of construction. When a ship is in the chamber and the gates are closed, water races in, millions of gallons, and all of it moved only by gravity. There is not a single water pump in the Panama Canal. Water is so strong, it can lift a 70,000 ton ship three stories high in 10 minutes. But in recent decades, ships have changed since the canal was built. Such ships now carry a majority of the world's cargo, but they're too big for the Panama Canal. Something had to be done. Canal authorities searched for a way to keep the canal competitive. The expansion demanded cutting edge lock technology and the latest construction techniques. Once just a remote isthmus, Panama serves as a crossroads of the entire world. The country is living in the best moment of its history, mostly because of the Panama Canal, newly revitalized, ready for the future, and still a wonder of the world.